child benefit rates are rising next month, how much more you can expect? We've just confirmed that the child benefit rates are rising next month, and in some cases, you can expect to get extra money. Take a look at the table below to see the current rates and how much you can expect to receive next month. We recommend you check this page regularly to make sure you're getting all the benefits you're entitled to. Thank you for your continued support as we work to improve our website. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Before we start the video, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe our channel for upcoming updates by UK governments and other very interesting content on various topics. Child Benefit provides support for those raising a child under 16 or under 20 if they are in education or training. All payments of the benefit are to increase by 10.1% from the start of the new tax year, on April 6. Claimants currently get a payment for their eldest or only child and a lower payment for each of any other children they look after. These are the current weekly rates for the benefit. Eldest or only child £21.80. Each additional child £14.45. With the 10.1% uprating, these will be the new weekly rates. Eldest or only child £24. Each additional child, £15.90. People usually receive the payments every four weeks on Mondays or Tuesdays with the option to get the money paid weekly, for single parents or those on benefits such as universal credit. A person can put in a claim for child benefit as soon as they have registered the birth of their child. It can take up to 16 weeks for the DWP to process a new claim but the benefit can be backdated up to 3 months. For couples, only one person can claim the support so they will need to decide which parent would benefit most from getting the payments. Claimants get national insurance credits towards their state pension if they are not working or if they earn less than £242 a week. Those claiming for the first time will need to fill in a Child Benefit Claim Form CH2 and send it to the Child Benefit Office. The address can be found on the form. If a person is claiming for an adopted child, the applicant will need to send the original adoption certificate with the form. If a person is claiming a child whose birth was registered outside the UK, they will need to include the original birth certificate and the child's passport or travel document used to enter the UK. To add a child to an existing claim, a person may need to call the Child Benefit Helpline or they may have to apply again. They can call the helpline if these conditions apply. The child is under six months old and lives with you. The child was born in the UK. The child's birth was registered in England, Scotland or Wales more than 48 hours ago. The claimant is a UK or Irish national and they have lived in the UK since the start of their claim. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you. Please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos and please don't forget like, share and comment. Thank you.